Hello everyone. I am Neha Patil. Welcome you all in today's session. Today we will see one operation of binary search tree. That is the label wise display of a binary search tree. So if you are able to see here, this is a code related with the label wise display. And for this example, we'll see how this code is going to work here. So if you have seen in this code here. We are passing the root pointer because we know that whatever be the display operation we want to implement on binary tree or the binary search tree, we have to start traversing from the root data. So we are passing here the root pointer. If the root is equal to equal to null, that means the tree is empty. So we can't display anything. So we are simply going to return from this. And this instruction Q node pointer Q is nothing but what here I have used here the STL class of the Q. We can write the manual class also. I'm going to show that manual class declaration also. But to make the code shorter, I have written here the STL class instruction. Then this is the push function, but it is related with the queue. Initially, I'm passing the root pointer into the queue. Then we are testing the condition while the queue is not empty. We are going to delete that pointer from the queue here. That is the queue dot pop operation is there. Front end the pop. These are the two separate instructions present in the STL. And we are going to display that data. Then after displaying that data for deleted node, we are going to check whether any left and the right child is present or not. If the left and the right childs are present, then that we are going to insert into the queue. So this whole process we have to repeat till the queue becomes the empty. And then we'll get the label wise display here. Label wise display is nothing but what? We will start from the level zero. That means we will display the five. Then we'll display all the elements present in the level one. That is the two and the 20. After that, we will display this one, four, 12 and 23 as they are present on the same level. And then lastly, we'll display nine and the 15 as they are present on the same level. So this is the label wise displays there. And always you have to remember that for the level wise display, always we need a queue data structure. Like in the BFS traversal, we did the stack. So for this BFS traversal all, or the level wise traversal, always we need here the queue data structure. Now see how this code is going to work. So FIU is printed and FIU is left child and the right child will be inserted into the queue here. If you have seen here, the 2 and 20 is inserted into the queue. Then we are going to delete these two. We are going to print it. And then two child node one and four, we are going to insert into the queue. Then next time the front item is nothing but the 20. So we are moving to the 20. We'll delete this 20 from the queue. We will print it. And then 20 child node, that is the 12 and 23 will be inserted into the queue. Nextly, the one, that is the front element will be deleted. It will be printed here. And as one is not having any further child, we are not going to insert anything into the queue. So we will shift for the four here. We will delete that four from the queue. We will print it as the four is again not having any further left and the right child. We are not going to insert anything. Next front ele element is nothing but the 12. So we'll move for the 12 here. It will be deleted from the queue and 12 will be printed here. Now the 12 so left and the right child that is the 9 and 15 is inserted into the queue. Next time the front item that is the 23 will be deleted from the queue. It will be printed. And as the 23 is not having any further left and the right child, we are not going to insert anything. So we'll come now for this next level that is for the 9. 9 will be deleted, 9 will be printed. As the 9 is not having any left and the right child, we will move for the 15, we'll delete it, we'll print it. And when the queue is going to become the empty will stop. And if you see, we are getting the output like 5, 2, 20, 1, 4, 12, 23, 9, and 15. That is nothing but this level wise output. This 5, 2, 20, 1, 4, 12, 23, 9, and the 15. So this is called the BFS traversal or the level wise traversal of the binary search tree or the binary tree here. So this is the manual class, how we can try it. We are declaring here the pointer array to hold the pointers. This R and F is nothing but the rear and the front end is there. 
and by using the constructor we are going to initialize initially the rear is equal to front is equal to minus 1 which will indicate like the q is empty so this is the empty function if r is equal to equal to minus 1 return the 1 otherwise return the 0 this is the insert function code for this insert function we are passing one parameter that is the node pointer p here and here if the q is empty initially we are setting r is equal to f is equal to 0 Otherwise, just we have to increment the rear end that is the r is equal to r plus 1 and date of r is equal to p here. So this is the insert function. For the delete function, we are taking the return type here as a node pointer because we are going to return that pointer which we are going to delete from the queue here. And here, if you see the definition of the delete function, whatever be the value present at the front end that we are taking in pointer p here. If r is equal to equal to f here, that means if the only one element is present in, into the queue, then we have to set after deleting that element, we have to set r is equal to f is equal to minus 1 there. Otherwise, we have to just increment the front end and we have to return the pointer here. So this is what the class declaration for the queue whenever we are going to display the queue with the help of the BFS traversal or the label wise traversal. So hope you have understood this code here. So thank you very much for watching this video.